Hello, everyone. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for English. Our EdCamp Academy is waiting for everyone who wants to improve their knowledge of English. Welcome. Don't waste your time. Join us and you will have fun and you will improve your English. Today, again, it's me together with you. My name is Oksana Yevchuk, and I'm waiting for you to have our English lesson. It's really afternoon, it's 12 o'clock. Let's start. Usually we start our lesson with a greeting and I hope you can easily practice with me. So, one, two, three, four. Come on, Oksana, hit the floor. We are so glad you are here today. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Let's repeat one more time. Instead of here, you can have got multiple full stops and you can say your name here. Listen again. One, two, three, four. Come on. Oksana, hit the floor. We are so glad you are here today. Hooray, hooray, hooray. So who can do it with me or without me? Are there any volunteers? If not, listen again and do it together. One, two, three, four. Come on, children, hit the floor. I'm so glad you are here today. Hooray, hooray, hooray. It's a good day and we are happy to have sun in the sky, to see green leaves in the trees, to see flowers and a lot of things that make us happy. So let's continue. Let us have a small talk. You can see the questions. And I hope you can easily give me the answers. What's the day today? What's the day today? It is Wednesday. What's the month? It's May. How are you? I'm fine. I hope you are fine too. How is your friend? How is your mom? How is your dad? How is your granny? How is your pet? You can give answers to a lot of questions. And you can also add your own question. So I will repeat the questions again. Please try to give the answers. I don't have my friend today, so I have only a phone on my table. Imagine I am having a call. Oh, hello. Nice to hear you, Irina. Can we have a small talk? Excellent. I will tell you what Irina says to me. Irina, what's the day today? It's Wednesday. What's the month, Irina? It's May. How are you? She says she is okay. How is your granny? She is great. How's your pet? He is bad. What a pity. What a pity, Irina. What is your pet? What is your pet? Wow. Well. A dog. Do you like your dog? She says, yes. 
Good, Irina. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. So we have a small talk with Irina, and I hope you can easily use the questions and have a talk with your friend. So I will quickly give the answers. Please tell me what's the question. It's May. What's the month? I am fine. How are you? It's Wednesday. What's the day today? How's your pet? It's not bad. Okay, so practice such questions and answers with your friend, with your mom, with your dad, with everyone who can ask and answer. And today we continue. Today we are going to speak about weather and clothes. If you look at the picture, you can see some pictures and I hope you can name the sun, the cloud, the tree, blossom. So it's about weather. A jacket, shorts, a dress, boots. It's about clothes. And I hope you know a lot of words to describe clothes and weather. So let's practice the use of the words. Be very attentive, look at the pictures and try to memorize. What's this? Right, jeans, jeans. These are jeans, jeans. What's this? Vest, vest, vest. This is a vest. What's this? Sports shirt, sports shirt. This is a sports shirt, sports shirt. What's this? Suit, suit. This is a suit. Suit. Overalls, overalls, overalls. Waistcoat, waistcoat, waistcoat. Jacket, jacket, or blazer. It is a jacket, it is a blazer. You can use two words to speak about this thing. A jacket or a blazer. Jacket, jacket, blazer. Repeat the words after me and try to remember. Scarf. Scarf, scarf. This is a scarf. Gloves, gloves. These are gloves. Can you see the difference? Mittens, mittens. So pay attention. Gloves. One, two, three, four, five fingers. So these are gloves. You can have for each finger gloves and mittens. A hand and a thumb. Mittens. So remember, gloves, mittens, mittens. Uniform, uniform, uniform. Do you know who wears this uniform? Can you guess who wears this uniform? I hope you can say a policeman, a fireman, 
and you will be right. A uniform, a uniform. Raincoat, raincoat, raincoat. Sweater, sweater, sweater. If you need, you can copy down or you can write the words down into your vocabularies. And don't forget, you can use all the presentations and you can turn back to it and write down. Or take your pen or a pencil and write down right now. Sweater, sweater. Very famous thing. I hope a lot of children like to wear it. Do you like it? Do you know what it is? Of course, sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweatshirt. And this is sweatsuit, sweatsuit. Good, sweatsuit. Sandals, sandals, sandals. Trainers, trainers, trainers. Boots, boots, boots. And for girls, for moms, high heels. High heels, high heels. Okay, these are clothes and I hope you remember all the things. Now, look at the picture and you have got such task. Name the thing, say what color it is and say when you can wear this thing. For example, let's pay attention to the first. This is a shirt. It is purple. I can wear it in summer. It's a blazer. It is orange. I can wear it in spring. This is a dress. It is green. I can wear it in summer. Okay, let's choose. This is a vest. It is yellow. I can wear it in spring and in summer. So look at the picture again and practice it. Don't forget to name the thing, say the color, and say when you can wear it. So, and we we'll continue. And this time we are going to speak about weather. Weather. Look outside. Look outside. What is the weather like in the place where you live? It is sunny. It is sunny in my place. What about you? Let's revise the words. Sunny. Sunny. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Windy, windy, windy. Hot, hot, hot. And pay attention. You have got here the letter F. It's for English speaking countries. And it tells about the temperature. It's not for Ukraine. It's for America. They speak about Fahrenheit. 
So it's the same as Celsius. It's hot, hot, hot. And here you have got C letter. So it's Celsius. So remember the difference. C we use in Europe, in Ukraine, and F we use in the West, in the USA, for example. F and C. Remember. Snowy, snowy. Stormy, stormy, stormy. And now you will look at the pictures and answer the questions. But before we move on, tell me, please, do you remember the words? Let's name the words together. Windy, sunny, cloudy, partly cloudy, cold, stormy, rainy, hot. Excellent. You are so clever, boys and girls. Practice English every day and you will have good results in the future careers. And now the questions. How's the weather? You can ask your friend. How's the weather? It is cold. It's cold. Or you can ask, what's the weather like? What's the weather like? You can ask, how is the weather? How's the weather? Or you can ask, what's the weather like? What's the weather like? So repeat, how's the weather? How's the weather? It's cloudy. It's cloudy. What's the weather like? It's windy. It's windy. How's the weather? It's rainy. It's rainy. What's the weather like? It's sunny. It's sunny. How's the weather? It's hot. What's the weather like? It's stormy. And here we've got the song, Our Relaxation. Watch, look, sing. Get ready, get ready. It's time to go. Get ready, get ready. From head to toe. Sun, wind, rain or snow. Look outside and pick your clothes. Put on your shirt. Put on your shirt. Put on your pants. Put on your pants. Put on your socks. Put on your socks. Get dressed for the day. Get ready, get ready. It's time to go. Get ready, get ready. From head to toe. Sun, wind, rain or snow. Look outside and pick your clothes. Put on your hat. Put on your hat. Put on your coat. Put on your coat. Put on your shoes. Put on your shoes. Get dressed for the day. Get ready, get ready, it's time to go. Get ready, get ready, from head to toe. Sun, wind, rain or snow. Look outside and pick your clothes. Put on your scarf, put on your scarf. Put on your mittens, put on your mittens. Pick up your bag, pick up your bag. Get dressed for the day. So, I hope you liked the song. Sing it together again at home when you have time. And I hope you are ready. Now, let's get ready for outside walk. Look at the picture. For example, we have got here 12 pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oops, I was mistaken. 
there are 16 pictures, not 12. And let us play the game. For example, you say the number and you choose the picture. You name the weather and you can say what thing you will wear. For example, I choose picture six. Where is picture six? Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here it is. It is snowy. I wear my socks. What picture do you choose? Picture 16. Here it is. It is rainy. I take my umbrella. So give me the number and I will choose the picture. For this game, you can also use a die. So, okay, I will throw it. Well, number four, picture number four. Look, what can you say? Right, it's cloudy. I wear my skirt. So practice it with your friend, with your mom or with your dad. I hope you can easily name all the kinds of weather and you can num you can say and name all the clothes. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. So, do you know what it is? This is our quick reading or tongue twisters. It is about the weather. First, you read slowly. Then, you read quicker and quicker and quicker. So listen again. Whether the weather is warm. Whether the weather is warm. Slow reading. You first read slow, slow. Whether the weather is warm. Whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Let's do it again. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. A good practice for your tongue, a good practice for the sounds, W, 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 weather. The, the, the weather. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. So first, practice it slowly. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot. We have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. And the next time, do it quicker. Do it quicker. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. So let's practice it one more time. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. So practice it. And you can also practice one more quick reading, some more tongue twisters. Susie sits six shining silver shoes. 
See you the seeds six shiny silver shoes. See you see seeds six shining silver shoes. See you the seeds six shining silver shoes. Good. And one more. Sam's shops stocks short spotted socks. Sam's shops stocks short spotted socks. Sam's shops stocks short spotted socks. Okay, good luck in your practice with quick reading. And if you are not tired, let's play the game, hidden picture game. Can you guess what weather is hidden? Tell me the color and I will open it. Orange, gray, violet, red, green. Which should I open? Okay. Can you guess? Of course, it is sunny. You can easily guess. So what picture? Which color do you like? Yellow. Let it be yellow. Can you guess? Not yet. Blue? Let it be blue. Can I show you? Sure, it is rainy. Good. Practice and play the game with your friend. You have got some slides with this game and you can work with your friend and guess. It is cloudy. If I just click here, can you guess the weather? Of course not, because it's white. Here, right, it's stormy. So, good job. I hope you liked the lesson and you can easily choose the emoji. Which one do you like? As for me, I'm glad. Please practice one more time. Watch it again and speak about the weather and the clothes. Use the links and play the games. You can just use all the links. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. And I hope you will join me and will work better next time because today it was difficult to work without you. Bye-bye, see you next time.